DIS-10 Ethical Hacking and Countermeasure Certification. Talk about banner grabbing. Uh, it's basically footprinting the services. Uh, so if you have, for example, port 22, which, which is an SSH uh, port, uh, then you would like to know the version of it and the potential name so we can find vulnerabilities so you can exploit them later, uh, like getting a remote shell, um, performing a denial of service, or other things. Uh, Okay, so let's just tra let's get tracking. Uh, as you can see, this is a desktop. The real machine it has its own IP 1.4. As you can see, um, also I got a virtual box running uh, Ubuntu, and it has an IP of 1.8. Uh, there are some services run on Ubuntu uh, on the virtual box, and I want to find out what services are those. So I'm going to use netcats and I've uh, actually uh, made a demonstration on port scanning. So have a look how do you port scan using netcat and I'm going in this particular example look for SSH and telnet services. So I'm going to scan only port 20 up to 25. So just press enter and as you can see I found port 22 and port 23 open. So there is a service uh, on those ports. Also, out of curiosity, I will go and try to have a little port, port 80 if there's any web server running. And yes, uh, the scan was successful on port 80. I got uh, a service running. So now to banner drop, uh, we all also use Netcat uh, as apparently uh, that's the tool that's been demonstrated. Uh, I provided with verbose and some sort of resolving uh, flag uh, called N, and I just provide uh, with the IP address and the port I want to banner drop. So for a start, it's port 22, which is obviously the SSH, so I just go for it, uh, press enter, yeah, it showed that it's a Ubuntu, yeah, as you can see, the SSH 2.0, open SSH 5.1, P1, Debian, Ubuntu 1, so we got some idea what that is, provided some feedback, now let's try a Telnet service, let's wait, oh, didn't provide any human readable feedback, so not in use for us at all. Some applications, I think, are not banner drab friendly <laughs> whatsoever. And now I'm going to try the last one, the web server. Maybe that will provide us with some information. So I just press enter. Just wait. Maybe try to press enter a few times. Oh, yes, here we go. Uh, basically, it's a mini uh, HTTPD version 119. Uh, 19th of December 2003, so maybe if I would doodle that, I'll maybe find some vulnerabilities on that and exploits potentially. So, as you can see, banner grabbing ain't that hard and it allows you to get the versions of the software that are on the ports. Okay, hope you liked it. This was banner grabbing with Netcat. Bye.